Hello, thanks for stopping by. In the last video we took and made ourselves a DC to DC converter to uh, drive uh, a 9 volt uh, device with 6 volt input. And we used the 34063 IC to take and do it. But what if you don't have a 34063? What else can we do? Well, you know me, everything is modules, modules, modules. So let's look at the 3463 and see what it actually is. If we take a look at it, we see that the majority of it is an oscillator. That oscillator is turning on and off a switch which is the Darlington transistor there to take and draw current through the inductor. And then the whole thing is regulated to take and maintain the voltage with the regulator circuit at the bottom that uses a 1.25 volt reference. So what can we do if we don't have a 34063? Well, almost everybody has a 555 timer I see in their collection and we can make a nice oscillator out of that so let's make one that looks like this we'll use uh, a 1k coming into pin 7 10k connecting 6 and 7 and 2.2 .2 microfarad capacitor pin 6 and 2 shorted together, bring power into the VCC on pin 8 and the reset on pin 4. Now if we took and put this on a scope we'd see that this is somewhere between 27 and 30 kilohertz depending on uh, you know the exact value of the components. So that'll take and give us our oscillator. Now let's see for a switch. Okay, with the 555, five, let's use a MOSFET. We'll take and connect the uh, gate 2, pin 3 of the 555. Five. Put a 10K resistor from the gate to ground to keep it from floating. Put our inductor in circuit and the output of the inductor will take a run down to the drain will ground the source that'll take and give us our switch and let us switch the current through the inductor and then just like in the other circuit we'll take and we'll put a our diode after the inductor So now what we need to do is coming up with a regulator circuit. Well, let's, we'll put a capacitor across there to take and hold our uh, voltage that we're building up. And we'll put a voltage divider in. We use uh, three resistors and a potentiometer in the middle to take and adjust it. The output of the potentiometer will take a run down to the base of a 2N2222 transistor. Emitter will take the ground. And the collector will connect to pin 5, which is the uh, uh, control pin on the 555 timer. And to make sure that stays steady, we'll use a 56K resistor from there up to our VCC so that uh, when the 2N2222 is off that'll be maintained at, at voltage you know so it won't drop out it won't shut itself off but when we get 0.6 volts on the base of the transistor that'll take and make it conduct pull pin 5 down and shut the timer off Now, figuring out what we need to get our 9 volts, we need 0.6 volts on, there on that uh, 
the tap on the output of the 1K. So let's use a 68K for a top resistor and a 1K for the bottom resistor. If you take and figure that all out on a voltage divider circuit or whatever, you'll find it, you know, that's going to put you in, a, in and around the 0.6 volt range there in that on the middle uh, 1K pot. And then we can take and adjust it up and down to give us what we want. So that should give us everything that the 34063 had. Now let's take that out to the bench and see whether it works or not. Okay, here's our circuit on our breadboard. We have our 555 here with its timing components. There's our MOSFET and our inductor. There's our regulator uh, 2N2222. Our capacitor, our diode, and here's our feedback circuit, our 68K, our 1K pot, and our 1K resistor. I have it hooked up to my power supply. The power supply is set to 6 volts. Let's turn it on and see what we get. nine point oh six and we can adjust that up to let's see how high it'll go nine and a half volts and turned all the way down Just about so you have just about a one volt range there to take and adjust it at anywhere from eight and a half volts to nine and a half volts and that's just using the 555 let's have a little bit of fun now though let's turn that off and we'll change some components here we'll take out that capacitor that resistor and that resistor in place of the 1K over here, we'll put a 470 ohm. In place of this one here, we'll put a 200K in place of the 68K. And we'll take and put our this is a 4.7 microfarad at a higher voltage. That's the only changes I've made to it. Now let's give this circuit 12 volts. Okay, we're set at 12 volts. Let's see what we get. Okay, 12 volts in with it turned all the way down now. We're getting 71 volts out. If we take and crank it up, if I turn it the right way. Three hundred volts out of a little five 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 timer, and the inductor is cold. The MOSFET is cold. The timer is cold, so there's nothing straining. Now, of course, when you get up to the higher higher voltages like this, you're going to have you know very little current. But you can use a circuit like this for driving uh, uh, Nixie tubes and stuff like that at around 170 volts. I'll take and go over the other circuit with you, this high voltage circuit, in a minute. So you see, if you play around and experiment, I mean, you can take and, you know, try different resistor combinations to take and give you, like, you, to give you your 12 volt or 24 volt or something like that. 
naturally, like I said, the, the higher the voltage you go, the less current you're going to be able to take and draw out of the circuit. But that the same thing with the 34063 circuit. Um, it, it, this isn't made to take the place of a, a big commercial power supply. So this is the diagram for the, the, the higher voltage circuit. And I hope you enjoyed this little demo. Thanks for stopping by.